how do you create a campaign in Drip and make sure you do it the right way? That's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's do it. Hey, this is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I show you how to build a business with a blog. Now I wanna take a quick moment to encourage you to not subscribe to this YouTube channel because what's YouTube? YouTube, <laughs> because if you do, and especially if you hit that bell icon, you're gonna learn how to use what we're talking about in this video to have an impact on the world while simultaneously building a successful business with a blog. Now, nobody wants that, right? That would be dumb. Hit subscribe. All right, let's create a campaign. But before I do that, if you didn't watch my video where I talk about the differences between campaigns and broadcasts, I'm gonna link to that in the info card for you to check that out. You should probably watch that one first. Uh, and by the way, if you wanna get access to my drip setup checklist, which goes along with this video series, head on over to becomeablogger.com slash drip checklist. So let's go to drip right now and create a campaign. Now to create a campaign, I'm gonna come right here and click on campaigns. And when you come here for the first time, you'll see this section here asking you to make your first campaign. Now you have this make a campaign button or you can watch a help video. Now of course you don't need to watch that video because you're watching this and this is gonna be more detailed. Plus you like me and you prefer to watch this video. I mean, well, that's at least what I'm telling myself. <laughs> now, if you've already created campaigns, you'll see a list of campaigns that looks like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and click on the new campaign button. And once I do that, I will have to give the campaign a name. I'm gonna call it Action Tips. Uh, just for fun, because this is one that I've done before. And then I'm gonna click on Create Campaign. And bam, the campaign is created. And now I have two options. Now, this part is really cool. If you don't already have a campaign written out, uh, you can use this option over here to choose a blueprint. Now, this is gonna give you a bunch of blueprints that you can use uh, for different purposes. Everything from a five-day mini course to a four-week email course uh, to uh, you know different follow-ups and all kinds of other campaigns. Now, if you want to preview, uh, you can preview that email by clicking right here on view email and it will show you, if you want to click on one, you can just click on use this blueprint right over here and you're good to go. Now, once you click on that, you can click to customize the individual emails um, by simply just going to that email. You can customize the subject line as well as the content of the email. And once you're finished customizing it to your liking, you can either save it or go directly to save and publish. Also, and this is something that I highly recommend, it's always a good idea to send a test email to yourself and read that email through. Trust me, this can save you a lot of headache in the future. Send the test email, you can just click here, uh, read the entire email out loud and click on every link. Trust me, the last thing you want is to make some silly grammatical mistake or even worse, send a broken link. Okay, so a few more things I want to show you about this screen. Uh, if you look up here, uh, you will see this little tiny arrow. In fact, you see one up here as well. Now, this is a bit tricky, and I would imagine that a lot of people miss it. If you come here to the, uh, the arrow next to the email title, which is right here, uh, this will take you back to the list of all of the emails in this specific campaign. But if you click on this little arrow next to the campaign, it will take you back to the, a list of all the campaigns. So when I click this one here, uh, you will see there we have all of the emails in the campaign. And you can still see there is that arrow next to the campaign name. And if I click here, what it's gonna do there you have it, it's gonna take me to a list of all my campaigns. And since um, you can see I've created a number of, of campaigns here, you will see all of them right here. And you'll also see how many emails are in each campaign. Like this one has five emails, this one has one, this one has eight emails, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's go back to the action tips campaign. 
I'm going to go back here to the email section. You see, you can see I have email selected um, and add an email from scratch, which is usually how I do it. So I can click here on add email or I can click on these three dots to get the option on whether I want to use a visual builder or the text builder. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text slash HTML, uh, HTML builder. Now, normally what I've done is I've already written out that email in Microsoft Word. Now for you, it may be something else, maybe Google Docs or something of that sort. And I will copy it and I will paste here. Now I have a shortcut here for uh, an email that I've written. So I'm going to come here and just put drip email. And here's the email. So I filled in this email here and I'm going to come here and just give it a subject. And the subject will be my first action tip. Now I should mention that I use the text slash HTML builder and not the visual builder because there's a whole bunch of data out there uh, that kind of indicates that regular text emails have better e uh, deliverability. And I want to make sure that as many people as possible get my emails. I value the de deliverability over design. So that is why I use the text builder. Now, if you want, you can add a pretext, uh, a pre-header here, which is that uh, the, the the small section of text that shows up right before the um, the subject line. So, what I'm going to put here is, "You'll love this first tip." Now, that should entice someone to click, right? So now I have the email here. And if I want to personalize it, I can come here, for example, instead of just saying, hey, I can come here and click on personalize and I can add their first name. Let's see if I see that here somewhere. I'm going to scroll down until I see first name. Now, I can also highlight this text if I want to add a link a link by clicking on that link icon and I'll just put becomeablogger.com as the URL for right now and then click on insert. Once I'm done, I can come here and click on save and publish. Okay, now we'll assume that I have everything all set, all of my emails written. So I'll come down here and I'll click on next. And in the meantime, I want to let you know that if you're interested in using Drip in your business, you can sign up for a free account for up to 100 subscribers by going to becomeablogger.com slash drip. You get access to all the features for free. Now, that is my affiliate link, which means if you sign up, I get a commission. If I get a commission, I feed my family. And if you're okay with my family eating, you can go ahead and use that link. <laughs> no, but seriously, I do get a commission. But um, I, if you check out all the tutorials in this series, you'll see that I'm recommending recommending Drip simply because it's really great and I believe it can help you grow your business. Okay, so now I'm in the campaign settings page. This is where I can go and set all of the details related to this campaign. So it already has the campaign name, which is Action Tips. And if you followed through the tutorials in this series, you should already have some of these details set, like your from name, email address, postal address, etc. Now, if you want to be notified when someone subscribes or unsubscribed, you can leave your email address here. Now, I don't care for that, so I'm going to go ahead and remove my email addresses uh, because if I didn't, I'd be getting a bunch of email notifications and my inbox is full enough without all that. Then I usually keep this as commercial campaign because somewhere along the lines, I'll probably be promoting something like my Become a Blogger coaching club. But if this campaign is for like a transaction that has been made, you can change that to uh, transactional slash relationship. Then let's go ahead and set the timing. If you see up here to the top right, I want my uh, emails to go out 6 a.m. So I'm going to put 6 o'clock a.m. in the subscribers time zone. Now I could change this to be my time zone, etc. But I'm, I, I will leave it at the subscribers time zone. I like them to get it first thing in the morning personally. Now this might be different uh, depending on your audience and depending on your goals. So you can change that accordingly. Now of course the first email should go out immediately. And for this, I usually with my action tips newsletter, I only have them go out on Friday. So I'm going to uncheck all of these and make sure Friday is selected. Now, of course, if you're not doing this on a specific day, you don't have to worry about that. 
The next thing you want to do here, if you have a custom uh, page to take them to after the confirmation, you can put that right here. Once they subscribe and they click that confirmation link, where do you want them to go? It might be your download page or something else. You can specify that right here. You can also indicate whether you want to send a double opt-in uh, message. So in other words, they have to confirm their email in order to get access to it. And you can turn that on or off here. I highly recommend in most cases, if this is their first time interacting with you, you definitely want to get them to double opt-in. That's going to increase the quality of your lead. If you want to duplicate or delete your campaign, you can do that right here. Uh, but once you are done, you can then click on save. I always like clicking on save when I'm working on stuff. And then finally, you can click on activate. And bam, just like that, your campaign is all set and you're good to go. All right, now I want to get to know you a little better so that I can better serve you. So the question for this video is, have you set up your first campaign as yet? If so, What's the goal of that campaign? That's what I want to know. What is the goal of your first campaign? Go ahead and leave your answer to those questions in the comments area below. Now, this, of course, is just one of the many videos in my series on Drip. And I promise that if you watch this series from beginning to end, you'll be a Drip Pro in no time. And by the way, if you want to get access to my Drip setup checklist that goes along with this video series, head on over to becomeablogger.com slash Drip Checklist. Now, in this this next video, I cover how to customize your campaign confirmation email. And in this last video, I went into the features of campaigns. So take your pick and keep watching. This is Leslie Samuel here reminding you that I believe in you. Now you believe in yourself and let's do this.